What is up, people? Everybody? He? She? He? She's? Everybody who's out there who watches my channel? Thank you very much. As you can see here, we've got this GMC Acadia. And uh, I've got a few videos out here. Well, one of them's on like an oil change, right? So, <clears throat> oh goodness. So we're gonna change the oil today on the GMC Acadia. So there's a few things that you're gonna need to know to change your own oil. Now, first thing I recommend is I'm not, I'm just a backyard mechanic. I know how to do stuff, but you're gonna wanna get you some ramps, put it up on some ramps so you can get under here just a little bit easier. So um, I'm gonna go get the tools that I need. Um, so starting off, pretty much one of the only tools you'll need is a 15 millimeter uh, socket or a wrench to undo your oil drain plug. But I've got to get a prop for this because this does not like to stay up. So stay tuned in just a sec. I'll show you where your drain plug is located, where your oil filter is located. I'll give you the part number to the oil filter that I used and the recommended oil is, stay tuned. All right, we are back. Check this out. We got this, this is important. If y'all's things are failing, uh, just go ahead and get yourself a piece of wood like this and uh, it's pretty simple. I had to get one new one of those. Maybe I'll look online. I'll put a link below on one of those. Um, but anyways, so we've got this fancy, look at my freezer, we painted we painted Jake's Jeep and still got all this red dust on it. Anyway, so 5W30, I'm putting full synthetic Valvoline 5W30 in the Acadia. Now, obviously, if you look right here, it'll tell you your oil that you're gonna wanna put in there. So, uh, yeah, next step is the oil filter. Now, mine has this guard right here. Actually, I need, I need the spotlight. Hold on. Let me grab the spotlight. All right, folks, check it. Next, I got this fancy spotlight here from Amazon. It's pretty cool. I take it to go spotlighting. We go uh, chase raccoons. But there's your oil filter right there. See that? That black thing right there, that is your oil filter. So, let me readjust this here camera and we'll give you a little closer view of it. That's your oil filter right there. See that? That bad boy? That right there is your oil filter. Now, the thing that I've found is I actually access it through the top. So um, you're supposed to you're supposed to only like hand tighten these things. And uh, a lot of people, if you're like me, strong, because strong grip. But anyways, uh, if you if you do hand tighten those, sometimes I over tighten them because. I was afraid they're gonna come loose and pop off, right? So, check it. Next thing you're gonna want is you're gonna want one of these sweet little like creepers here. We used to call them creepers. I don't know what they call them nowadays. But, so, because you got this thing lifted under here, I'm gonna have to come in here from the front. Stay tuned. Okay, so. There's your passenger front tire. This is the front of the vehicle. So your oil drain plug is gonna be right here. See this thing? There's your motor. 
gonna be right there. That's your oil drain plug. Now, just loosen that up. Let it drain. And then put some new oil in. But first, gotta make sure you put that back. Double check, triple check, quadruple check. Make sure you put that oil drain plug back in. So that's it. That's that's as easy, easy. Damn, it's squeezy. I'm not gonna show you the process of actually draining the oil. As far as like, I ain't gonna waste my time trying to teach you how to take that off. Just just take it off. Take the oil drain plug out. Drain the oil. Warm your car up for like 10 minutes before. It's still gonna be kind of warm, so be careful. Don't burn yourself. But other than that, it's pretty simple. You just oil drain plug, 15 millimeter. Take off your oil thing. Make sure, you know, obviously you got your oil pan to catch the oil underneath that. And after you drain that, just put the oil drain plug back in so I can move my pan. <clears throat> Take off your oil filter, put the new oil filter on, maybe move the pan back over, take out the drain plug again, maybe see if there's any little left over, uh, put it back in, tighten it, and then fill it up. That's it. Easy. Easy peasy. Hold on just a second, and I'll get you some information on how many quarts I put in mine. Yours might be the same, but it's pretty simple. If you just Google 2013 or whatever year your vehicle is, just Google how, you know, two, like mine's a 2013, so I Google 2013 GMC Acadia oil capacity. And it'll tell you probably two capacities, just the oil capacity and the oil capacity with filter. Means you're gonna put a new filter on there and it's gonna need oil kind of put in there so if you pour oil into your filter before you put it on which is hard in this case because it's sideways so I don't do that um, some people recommend it I don't know don't listen to me I'm just here to show you where stuff's at Real quick, so <clears throat> basically oil capacity on the 3.6 liter. Now, you gotta make sure you check which motor you have, but for the 3.6 liter, it says six quarts of oil. So we're gonna be adding six quarts of this. Also, when you are uh, reinstalling your oil filter make sure you dip your finger in here get a little oil and on the seal you're just gonna rub rub it like this just like this in circles most of us know how to do that you just rub it in circles <laughs> anyways uh, that's what you do when you put it back on just get the little uh, ring around there lube just a little bit with some oil and before you hand tighten it so uh, that's the only other thing I recommend but other than that that's there's really nothing to it it's pretty simple uh, the reason why I don't film a lot of stuff is because once I start working I like to play some music so I like to jam out and listen to music while I'm doing you know mechanic stuff 
and it makes it kind of hard when I'm filming. But I guess in the future, maybe I could just put my earphones in. But I got this sweet speaker right here. It's a monster. <clears throat> this thing freaking bumps, man. Y'all want one of these? I'm going to link one of these up in the description. But this is what I use in my shop to keep my tunes loud. Loud. So, yeah. All right, folks. One more thing. Your air filter, oil filter comes with this. This is what I'm talking about. Rubbing it in circles with oil. This one has one too. When you take this off, make sure that this rubber piece comes off with it. If not, go back to here and check it because you do not want to put two of these. Man, that thing looks like it was tightened on there. Really good. So. Anyways, it took a minute for me to get it off. Uh, basically, I had to use, uh, let's see, where'd I put it? Oh, so, this is my specialty. Um, I don't have a filter wrench, I couldn't get this off, so I had this bad boy made. Basically, I loop it around here. It's really tight, but then I have to get uh, this and I just I ratchet it and then when I pull this you know it, it loosens that so you can see where my indent marks were on that anyways that's a cool trick it's a little tricky but it's a cool trick so you just loop that into a loop and use a ratchet I actually have a video uh, somewhere way back couple years four or five years ago about how to change your oil filter with the ratchet strap so if you have any questions I got a video on that already so anyways yee yee you could try to play but you're never gonna beat me look the other way what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me. Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me. Look up a chat. So, peace out. Have a good day. Smile every morning. When, like, when you wake up, right? So, like, when you wake up, just smile and be like, dude, today's a good day. Even if it's a bad day. Even if you start having a bad day, go to the bathroom, smile at yourself in the mirror. It just, it's silly, but it works. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays, way 